Okay. It's yours, isn't it? Well, not mine personally, but... Does your mate Ross know you've come over all conscientious? <laughs> Listen, if you don't want it. No, no, it's all good. I'll make sure it gets back to its rightful owner. Thanks very much. Very clever. Giving Chrissy freebies at the garage. You're trying to get caught. She thought it was weird. Oh, someone being nicer for a change. There's no surprise there with your family. What's it to you? Fancy or something? No. You do. What you do for tips around the back of the garage, eh? Dirty little grease monkey. I don't fancy a bird, mate. It's all right. It's allowed. I'm not going to deck you. <laughs> well, I'll remember that for when I stop being gay, eh? Punters pay extra for you to rough the cars up. No, just the fiancés. <sighs> I suppose I deserved that. So what do you want anyway, busy? To bring you this. And to say sorry for being a jerk. It meant a lot to Chrissy, you getting the ring back. I should have been more grateful. So we're done? Can we start over? Why? Because I'd like us to get on. And because you're going to be finding me in my dream car. You don't deserve her, do you know that? Chrissy, I know. So... Mates? I'll think about it. for me yesterday. Right. Dan said you seemed weird. No, I didn't. All right. Just thought I'd upset you or something. No. Do you want to go somewhere? Gun shop? What? Never mind. Go on, drive then. Where to? I don't know, anywhere. I don't need the lecture. You can save your breath. I'm going to give you a lecture. You tried. I didn't even think you'd do that. No? I thought I'd be the last person you'd listen to. Yeah, I listen to you. Really? Yeah, you make a lot of sense. I wish you'd been there when I rang that jeweler. I might not be stood out in the cold on my own. Yeah, I've been there a few times myself. Yeah, why's that? I don't know. I didn't really know who it was, I guess. And, uh, how'd you turn it around? People didn't give up on me. And I chilled out a bit. I thought you were done with me. I can change my mind, can't I? No. So, are you going home? Interesting choice of venue. Do all your business meeting here, do you? Well, it depends on the business. What have I done now? You rang Adam. Yeah. To call off the offer, like you said. Change of plan. You've changed your mind? I've changed my opinion. There's a difference. So... So are you still up for it? We're still talking about the investment. Yes or no? Yes. I always was. It was you who had the problem. Fine. Only you're not the boss, and you put out of how we do things, yeah? Fine. It was only so I could meet you legitimately, without anyone getting suspicious. So, what excuse have you given her this time? I didn't. What, on Boxing Day? You're not in the doghouse enough? I'd stop talking now, if you still want my investment. 